week 17 of the 27 inch challenge okay and of course we are still not dieting okay we are still enjoying a lot of food a lot of you know healthy and hun quote unquote unhealthy stuff junk stuff but i don't regard as food as that okay this is that the ideal health plate okay if you if you don't know how to structure your health plate that's how you do it okay twice the starch one fourth of the plate is veggie is 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 a starch and then one third is protein okay now we are weighing our weight so that people will may see how accurate okay these water gallons are okay the first attempt is 47 pounds the next attempt is 44.1 44 pounds. pounds okay and we do it the third time for you know for us to be sure so yeah we, this is the third time 44 pounds so it's really 44 not 47 so weigh yourself three times and weigh everything three times so, so it's saturday end of the week and today we're going to switch the deadlifts up the reverse deadlifts so today we're going to do romanian deadlifts but since i can't do it both hands because this is too big Okay, this is 45 pounds. Okay, or around 45 pounds, 44 pounds to be exact. So since I can grip it, you know, with with the two of them together because it's too wide, it it, it doesn't you know get into my mid chin, you know, mid chin um, parallel to my mid chin. It's outside here. So what I'm gonna do today is one-legged Romanian deadlifts so um, my volume as you probably if you probably know if you follow me my volume in deadlifts is pretty high around 10,000 to 11,000 volume units so if you apply this with this 45 pounds I would you know I would go to a total work set of six sets of 20 reps so 20 reps times 6 is what 120 reps per leg so that's what I'm gonna do today so six sets of 20 reps of that and I now understand why women you know um, benefit from high rep training even though it's pretty light and not so significant weight they're either what they're lifting is not so significant and they still make gains because they even though they don't bring you know the weight into the picture but they they somehow cons compensate on their on their reps okay the weight is low but the reps are high okay it still make gains if the volume is the same okay so today Three sets of 20, same with the front levers, five sets of seven or seven sets of five, whatever, you know, strength I have left. And the benefit of this, switching it up is my front levers will be easier to perform. Why? Because when I do reverse deadlifts, <laughs> my, my upper body is already taxed and already, you know, it, it's already fried, okay? But now we're concentrating on the glutes the hamstring and you know the control of the core of course and the forearms the muscles that i'm gonna use in the front levers will not be as hard so in this exercise it's very practical i'm just gonna use these stairs okay so this area right here this box area that's my deadlift platform today okay i'm just gonna switch angles so take a look i want you to pay attention to the tempo okay as you can see i'm not i'm not doing it as as you know as fast as possible 
Okay, I'm controlling the eccentrics. Again, the the going down part. Okay, back to the starting position. That's the eccentrics. And I'm exploding up, you know, squeezing everything. My glutes, my hamstring, and my lower back. Okay, so I already computed the volume. And, you know, it's hard to, to do high reps because... If you know me, I don't like doing high reps, but we have no choice because it's just 45 pounds. If I have 90 pounds or 180 pound dumbbell, okay, I'm gonna do that with straps. So, but now we have to make it do, you know, with with 44 pounds. So, high reps is the way to go. So, as you can see, I'm controlling all the way down, and this is the other side. Okay, I'm just tiptoeing the other feet for balance and I'm concentrating on one side. Okay, I don't want the other side to help. I just want one side to work. Okay, again, it's a good, good forearm work. Slow eccentrics. Fast concentrics. Pause, squeeze, and repeat. Okay, you will see this on all your training. You should apply this on all your exercises okay slow down the eccentrics the negative part of the rep okay the, the part of the rep that 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 is going back to the starting position and explode you know explode the the concentrics okay the positive part of the rep and then have a little pause after that concentric and then again slow down the reps that's how you do a rep that's how you do it properly that's how you work the muscle that that has to work so why romanian deadlifts why not just you know go with go getting stronger on your on your reverse deadlift um, guys I've, I've already done reverse deadlifts I've, i'm already doing it for about almost three months now almost four months or okay, three and a half months now and i want to switch it up because i want to work my hips as like I'm doing in the gym okay I'm I'm if, if it's a deadlift day the hips are working the posterior chain is you know the one that that's working in the reverse deadlift it's the reverse it's the upper back that's that's getting all the work and the posterior chain is just there to stabilize you so switching it up is a good idea from time to time and after this workout my 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 whole body is sore like like i i did uh, a max deadlift the the day before or two days before so the doms on this the delayed onset muscle soreness on this is a lot okay that's what happens when you do a new movement okay you you have a lot of muscle soreness because it's a new stimulus okay it doesn't mean you build muscle it just mean that you know the the movement is is new to you okay so again 20 reps of that and this is a good example of um, <laughs> you should have a home gym setup it really helps if you have a home gym if you invest on a home gym uh, even if it's just a barbell set okay because you can do a lot if you have a good barbell set on your home okay, especially if you have a a 20 kilogram bar plus you know about a total of um, 600 600 pound plate 600 pound dumbbell so you don't have to do a lot of these water gallon sets so as you can see it takes time because six sets of 20 is a lot Okay, so, and I'm resting about 1 minute to 2 minutes per set for me to do it efficiently. And the front levers are, you know, smooth because I'm fresh. So that's the consequence of, you know, resting a bit on the reverse deadlifts. Your other accessory movements are getting better and you're, you can perform it well. You know, when I made a piston, this is not going to problem with performance. It's just a I think that's not your problem. If you call yourself a Christian, you say you got a problem, 
pawn. Your problem is not with pawns, it's the lack of fear of God. Boom. That's what your problem is. A lack of fear of God. So why is that? Well, let me ask you that. Would you take pornography into the worship service? Would you look at pornography at the back of the worship service? So no, when you do that, it's a house of God. It's not for God. It's not a house of God. It's a building. God dwells not in temples and made with hands. We're called in churches. But God is all in the present. He's in your bedroom. It's not yeah. just his place where you're honestly called a church. Yeah. The eye of the Lord is in every place beholding the evil and the good. And it's the fear of God that keeps me from sin. So that's Ray Comfort right there. That's what I do for gym music. People ask me what gym music is your favorite. Well, I only listen to preachers, okay, to to you know Christian preachers. Okay, it gives me strength on my workouts. And for me, my time is not wasted because I learn at the same time I train. So that's it. That's just two movements: reverse deadlift and the front levers that's just the workout of the day imagine that I, it only took me what 30 minutes to accomplish so you can train at home guys so the one goal we have in diet breaks okay in doing these diet breaks is to nail down the habits okay so for example now it's almost 5 p.m so at around 5 p.m. I like to eat carbs, okay? And it's training day, it's post-workout. So, dieting or not, it's gonna be the same, okay? It's it's gonna be the same carbs or some sort of, of you know, anything that is high starch is what I like to do. So, yeah, and if you look at the satiety, index or how much satisfying food is the index of that the way they count that um, potatoes are at the highest okay in terms of carbs it satisfy you okay this is only what 300 400 calories of homemade fries so things like that will help you when you get back on your diet Okay? When you nail the habits, you know, bulking and cutting or, or maintaining your weight, building muscle and fat loss, do you know the difference? It's not that big. Okay? It's only one meal. Okay, One meal difference. If you're cutting, you just take out one meal. That's it. If you're bulking, you just add one meal. That's it. Okay, So keep that in mind. Nail the habits. Okay, nail the meal timing schedule. Meal timing affects your total calories after all. So, and don't forget to enjoy and put sriracha on your fries. <laughs> this is one advantage of, you know, cooking meals at home in these quarantine times, these lockdown times, these new normal times. You cook your own food. So, macros are not hard to count if you cook your own food. Okay, compared with this, you know, pre food prepared for you. Okay, so you can control the amounts, you can control the calories. Okay, but in my, in my coaching style, in my counting style, okay, versus you counting strategy, calorie counting strategy, you can, it's doable. You can eat out and still, you know, get your diet goals. Okay, this is homemade mango ice cream. So we had a good deal uh, on mangoes. Okay, some some business partner get us, you know, some uh, a box of mangoes. So we have we have no choice but to make it, you know, an ice cream. So yeah, it's chicken day, noodles, chicken, rice. Yes, it's not evil. You can still eat that. A couple with some brownies and coffee. And what is this? It's that ice cream. Okay, the mango ice cream. Okay. You can really eat what you want. Okay. Spam and, and instant noodles. Okay. 
and then spam rice and eggs with my micronutrients papaya and again more ice cream <laughs> okay this is a bit more this has bit more mango so it's it's better breads chicken cheesecakes okay cheesecake in a cup okay literally you can eat whatever you want okay that's the shred smart diet okay that's what we do that's what we practice it's almost 10 o'clock and um, meal prepping this is called tinola a filipino dish chicken filipino dish with it. um of course salt and pepper and then uh, garlic and, 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 and ginger and then you have some what onions yeah onions garlic ginger salt pepper chicken and then some you put this papaya yeah high fiber lean high protein and you can eat it without the carbs so you can reserve your carbs for the cheesecake <laughs> what is this this is some Popeyes okay spinach and Popeye the sailor man the secret to gains is spinach Eat your spinach and papaya salad. Again, sticking to the good old basics, OHP, pumping up myself. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, this is like the first set. Two, come on, three, four, five. Six, seven, come on, come on. We got eight. Okay, that's the first set. Rest four minutes, five minutes. Okay, I didn't hit a PR today. Spoiler alert. So you only get 12 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight and nine. Come on, ten. Come on, come on. Eleven. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight. Twelve. Okay, that's my regular OHP training. Okay, eight plus twelve. But sometimes I get fourteen. So we're still fighting. Okay, this is, you know, a, a good variation of the pull-up. If you're already strong on the pull-ups, try this. Okay, do, doing assisted one-arm push-ups. Like three-finger assisted. Okay, so I do three sets of eight of this. 24 reps total. Okay, the next set okay, is for the other side. And the technique here is you don't help. Okay, one side as much as possible. You only work one side. Okay, and you twist on the pulling arm. Okay, you don't go away. Uh, get your torso away as you go up. You go inside. You 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 twist inside, going to your forearms. Okay, that's the direction. Okay, you twist. You twist for the, for the pulling. Okay, so. That's a bit easy to so I did cloth. Okay, I did some cloth assisted one arm push up or 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 this is a bit a bit harder because um you lo you will lose balance if you're not tight. Okay? So as you can see my feet is going going nuts because it's already getting hard. So find a way Find a way for your exercise to to be better and harder and, and find a way to progress. Okay, and one way of progressing is unilateral movements. Okay, doing one-arm movements. That will develop your whole back. Okay, 
And this time I used the bike, you know, uh, a destroyed tire. Okay, a destroyed rubber tire. And I do it as a pulling, okay, one that I can pull so that it's a bit easier to grip and it that doesn't damage your, your hands that much. So today in this workout i included the pistol squat so that whenever i do my squat I, i'm not i'm not fatigued For, because when i whenever i do this after the one arm push-ups i'm already fatigued and i can't do i can't focus on straightening that that other leg because my hip flexors are already sore okay so today i didn't hit any any legs so I can concentrate on on doing this this you know this uh, this pistol squats. But the downside is my my hamstrings is still sore from that workout from that water jug Romanian deadlift. So I have to concentrate on on working more on my quads. So that that chair is around 20 pounds 15 pounds so it's a good counterweight but not that much so next again the classic upright row focusing on the delt I call this the delt upright row because it it works more of the delt than the then it is a uh, uh, trap um, upright row so I do 20 reps two sets of 20 reps I like high reps on these because it's only 44 pounds so I can do more reps on that okay the guideline in this is to is imagine you are about to elbow the ceiling you're about to, to hit that ceiling with your elbow the elbow is your guide so when you do that you should focus on your elbow going up and down not on your wrist going up and down okay and getting your spine neutral and your chest up okay that's the technique here doing your regular uh, upright row okay so as you can see it burns this is like the last set I did so it's really a metabolic fatigue you know <laughs> it's really it's re it really burns so last again the staple calf raises okay slow eccentric fast concentric Okay, and that's it you know basic movements I show you this 27 inch challenge workout by workout food by food I want to show you that this is easy okay that this is sustainable that you don't have to create a brand new magical exercise that magically hits in a new way your, your target muscle groups Okay, if you want to build your calves, calf raises. If you want to build your chest, one arm push ups. If you want to build your back, one arm pull ups. If you want to build your, your, your legs, okay, Romanian deadlifts, Romanian deadlifts, or pistol squats. Okay, if you want to build your butt, hip thrusts. Okay, if you want to build your shoulders, OHP, overhead press. Okay, that's it. So you don't need a lot of complicated movements to to build your body okay all you have to do is to progress okay if you're not doing um your body weight on the overhead press then don't expect your your delts to be large okay if you're not hitting a calorie surplus and you're still weak then don't expect you're gonna build muscle that way okay it's an exact science it's a it's it's cause and effect it's that simple okay so enjoy it eat foods eat your your favorite foods 
cook your foods, okay, eat some junk foods, but now no more than 20% of your calorie intake. Eat your vegetables just like that, two times more than your starch. Eat your lean protein just like that, and you'll be on your way, okay? Eat your micronutrients, okay? Eat some chocolate cake, okay? And you'll be never be the same.